Come on, kids. Coming. For my grandmother 50 years ago? <laughs> yeah. She was sure a remarkable person. And she was she would always tell unbelievable tales about fairies for some reason. She must have some vivid imagination. Hey kids, here we are. Whoa! Um, where am I gonna sleep at? In here, of course. Please. I really hope they are the ones to defeat me. 
Okay kids, so there's a nearby grocery store. I'm gonna be over there for about maybe five minutes to get some food. Abby, take care of your brother. Be safe. I'll be back soon. Bye. Bye. Let's go to the secret garden again. Okay. Yeah. We're really close. But I don't remember all of this being part of the woods. Whoa, where are we? The grass got so big. Excuse me. Uh, I did it. Who are you? Yes, I am the same Rosemary. Where are we? How did you change form? Well, I never changed form, you see. I only shrunk you. What? what? This is only to protect you from the evil queen. Where's they? He's with the fairy queen now. No, I, I refuse to believe this. Oh, it's very real, Abby. But now is not the time to chit chat. We have to save your father. Uh, okay. Uh, we'll do it. I think he's currently at the Queen's Palace. We're just gonna have to get there before the wedding. But Rosemary, these are only berries. Why couldn't we have stayed big? That's because you can't go into Tanglewood without being a fairy. I didn't technically turn you to fairies, you're still mortals. But, I used my magic to shrink you. And the magic will be there temporarily. Come on, I'll take you to the entrance. Okay, Tommy, let's go save Dad. Let's do this! Delightful to see you again. What is it this time? Another baby to steal? We didn't steal any baby. We didn't steal anything from you. So let me go. No. I think I'm going to have a little fun with those children. What are you going to do to them? I didn't do anything to them. In fact, they're going right into my paws. They are simply trying to rescue you, but uh, the foolish gene must be passed down. What do you want from me? Simple, Richard. I only want revenge. Now, if you'll excuse me, my worker bee is getting ready to arrive. Get, get, get out of the room. Uh, anyway. My worker bee is a spy of some sort. Just no FYI. Don't mess with my kid. Take him to the dungeon. I'm tired of hearing his mouth. 
No, no! Oh, you arrived. Now, do you have any information? Psst, 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 psst. Hmm, there's a traitor along with them. Hmm, this will be interesting. So, they think they can stop me by just asking for their father back? I don't think so. Okay, everyone, we have a great journey ahead of us. Good night. Wait, I need a bedtime story. Uh, a bedtime story? Yeah, a bedtime story. So, once upon a time, there was a woman. She and her husband wanted a child so bad, but they couldn't get one. They accidentally found a fairy and wished they had a child. But that was the sacred rule. Do not speak to humans. This fairy, she was always a rebel. So she gave them a human baby she made out of their request. The evil queen was furious and sent out a few goblins and wasps to take the baby. But the humans and their love overpowered her and the fairies were free. The end. Primrose, did this really happen? I don't know. It is just a legend after all. Oh, and by the way, I know of a friend is nearby. We can go to her, and that way we'll be faster to the Queen's Palace. Oh, great. <gasps> Good night. <sighs> I just hope that Light should never happen. I'm hungry. Come on, humans. There's a diner right there. Where are we? Stupid, she just sat at a diner. This is where we can get food. What is it now? <gasps> humans? I don't like you either. What a strange human you have. I know, he's annoying. What? Bartender, we mean no harm. We're looking for a friend. Hmm. Oh, the red one. She's right over there, and she keeps stealing the grub here. Fans, what do you want? Pizza! Hey, that was mine. Primrose? Long time no see, Dandelion. <laughs> yeah. What are you here for? We need to discuss it somewhere else. <laughs> Save some pizza for me. Pizza! I will still eat it! What? Dandelion, all I'm saying is that we have to help these kids. This is concerning humans and fairies. Ugh, remember what happened last time when I helped a human? That was the greatest adventure of your life. Yeah. And then, I get to show the queen who's boss again. Yep. Ugh, okay, count me in. But don't say I wouldn't warn you. Queen is very cruel and merciless. She'll do anything to get her way. Oh, yeah, let's go on an adventure. Let's go. Oh, boy. Off to the Queen's Palace, you guys. You guys? <sighs> You're going too fast. Dandelion, we have to stay on the ground. It's much more safer than predators. Ugh, whatever. You guys are lame. Excuse me, do you even know where you're going? There. There what? Across the river 
is the path to the Queen's Palace. You just go straight ahead. Ah, let's go before... Great. Quickly, we need to go over the river before it floods. Quickly, fly across! What about us? Are you serious? Grab my paw. Oh no. Uh, I can't carry you both. My wings. Uh. Primrose, tell me. Looks like we caught another one, boys. Yay! Yay! Oh, boss, can we eat them now? No! We have to take them to the queen. She'll know what to do with them. Goblins! Let us go! Oh, uh, what happened? Uh, just take them to the queen. Hey, I'm in charge here. No, I have a better idea. We'll fugimate them. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's the greatest way to kill a fairy. K kill? What? What is that? Simple, really. You get put in this giant human jar with dust, soaked with a dangerous chemical. Any more questions? Ow! There you go, boss. So you can see this pitiful fairy's face. Take them to the jar. <sighs> Move, Tommy! Get out of the way! Yeah! I got gotcha. you! Yeah. Don't make me bite his ear off because I'll do it! If you don't hand over five million grand! Help me! Yeah! What he said! Shut up, Brian! Ah. <laughs> Boss, I can't see! Ugh. I can't either! Oh! Hugging later. Come on. <laughs> Darn it. They got away. What the? Oh, you're the Quint's messenger bee. <laughs> so, she's saying she wants me to help her? What an honor. <laughs> Whoa. Come on, boys. Get up. Come on. Come on, let's go. We're ready, boss. Follow that bumblebee. Bumblebee. Well, guys, this is it. Ow! Uh, watch it, Tommy. Shush. Mm. Hi. Hurry up already, will ya? I'm trying, but he's too fat. <sighs> Dad, what are they gonna do to him? I hate goblins. They do shh, bad stuff. Shh, shh. Tommy! Who said that? Welcome! Watch it! Whoa! Uh, oh, your majesty! Harry, let go of me! Uh, my sister was really, really foolish to marry a human. And to think, you're her... Grandson-in-law? I think that's what you humans call it. And then, you have a half-length daughter. 
What? What does she mean by halfling? Ashley. Oh. And it seems here they are now. Oh, oh, oh. Ashley, Tony. You're not going anywhere. Perfect. Just splendid. I wonder what my new powers can do to that little one right there. No, no, don't hurt them. If he marries her, she'll have complete control of humans. We have to stop her, fools. You cannot stop me. If we work okay. together, we can defeat you. Yeah, right. You don't remember me, do you? Ugh, of course I remember you. You were the so-called fairy rebel. You were, you were that fairy in the legend. Wait, there's a legend about me? That rebelled against me? With the humans? <laughs> I can't believe this. Twice he tried to stop me. Now and then. But this time will be your last. This wedding will proceed without any further interruptions. You, Tiki and all of your little pitiful friends and creations will be destroyed. Do your worst, but in the end, you'll fall. Guards? Yes, your majesty. Arrest them. Don't come any closer. No, don't hurt them. Wait. Yes, your majesty. I almost forgot something very important. me out of this. Oh, right. Bindi, the human fairy. Excuse me? Oh, I remember you. Your little friend over there created you. What? Uh, I don't mean to burst your bubble wool, but this is all too crazy. I am no way a fairy. Then why do you look so different from your family? How come you don't remember your real family? What? Dad, what is she saying? Ashley. Ooh, family drama. Is all of this true? Dad, are, are you really my father? Ashley, I'm, I'm not considered to be your actual father. I was only married into the family as a stepfather, along with Tommy. You were made by fairies, Ashley, and we kept that a secret all these years. We moved away from the fairy forest to get rid of all the distractions and chaos. I suppose that didn't work. So of course, the legend is true, and you've been lied to. Them. Stay back, or I'll... What possibly can you do without your magic? Our magic? I guess I'll get these runs. No, leave the halfling here. Easy enough. Don't, don't touch him. Tommy! Let me out! Don't worry, I'll let you out after the ceremony. Just let me go! All of this is a huge mistake. I don't have any powers. And my brother and my friends. What happened to them? Oh, they're gonna go unharmed. But they're gonna stay in that dungeon for an eternity. Ugh, what are you planning on doing? Oh, of course, Bendy. I'll tell you. My name is Ashley. Yes, legend has it that true love of a human and a fairy overpowers all. And of course I have to have this power. I need to get rid of the pitiful human that surrounds Tanglewood so I can expand my kingdom for the well-being of my subjects. 
You're a monster. You don't deserve this kind of power. In fact, I do, Bindi. You see, your grandmother took it away from And then, she disgraced our family name for falling in love with a human. Giving up her powers. All to cause me pain. Grandma? But, she probably didn't want to cause you pain. Or anything at all. Nothing will stop me now to gain complete control of Tanglewood. Not even you. That necklace prevents you from using your powers at all. Which means I win. Uh, boss? Uh, I mean, your highness. Uh, five more minutes before the wedding starts. Are the preparations done? Yes, ma'am. Excellent. Now, run along. I have to get ready. Uh, yes, your highness. Anyway, I have to get ready. So, see you later, Bendy. I'll come back once I fully conquered Tanglewood. Oh, and also take your powers away. Huh. So this necklace controls my powers, huh? Now, how to unlock this cage? Open sesame! Uh, open? Pretty please? Ow. Now to stop the wedding. Uh. Well, this stinks. Our powers are gone. Ashley's taken somewhere. And the wedding is about to start. So then, why are you two still on your bums? Come on, we need to escape. <gasps> Look, we had a long day, okay? If anything, I would be back at the diner eating some grub. But no, we have to be in this jail cell, and then I'm stuck here with you. You wanted to come on this mission, but now we have to end it. And that's coming from me. Like, I don't really like all of this stuff. I know what is right. And we have to save Ashley and Tanglewood. Okay. Fine. You just annoy me with your high-pitched voice. That's all. But there's no way of escaping. We have no magic. We have him. I have a plan, Rosemary. And I am highly hopeful that it will work. Your plans never work. Shut up. Now, you, Rosemary, will... Hey, this is my huh? bed. No, mine. Get off of me, damn it, one. It's working. Ah. Ah. You, you, boy. Come out here and do it, so I can get a better view. There! Now you can come out here and fight. Yeah. Come on! Oh. Come on, we're free! Wow, your plan worked! To the wedding! Wait for me, you guys! everyone to my wedding. I am so glad to be here in front of all of my wonderful subjects and I thank you all for your gratitude. Uh, let's just get this over with. Did you put the freezing spell on him? Yes, a long time ago. Apparently his head can still move. 
but no matter. Now, today, every fairy in the land has gathered here to witness a special occasion. The wedding of Queen Valda. Can you just skip this part? Sure. If you have any objections, please speak now. Okay, well, you may kiss the bride. Or you kiss the husband. Whichever. Mm -hmm. No! Too late. Now pucker up. I object! What? You. That's right. It is me. Now, hand over my dad. Or else. <laughs> or else what? Uh, I'll... Uh, I'll use my magic on you. Huh. You barely even know how to use it. Nice try, Bendy. Just one little kiss. Go on, Tommy! Yeah. <coughs> Give us our magic bag, you witch! The fairy rip. Oh, nice to see you. But let's hurry up and grab him! Guards, get them! Pleasure. Ah, get away from me! Oh. <sighs> Why do I have to do everything myself? Wait, everyone, don't you want to stay and fight with us? Against the evil queen? They're right. They have more common sense than you. Now, to finish you off. Uh, uh. Ah! Isn't anything happening? You must have had something to do with this, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Uh... Come on, let's escape while we can. Rosemary, you go on ahead. I'll, I'll help Dandelion. What? But, but you can't. I, I have a plan. We'll be outside the castle cheering you on. Come on. Goodbye, Tiki. Hey, Valda! What is it now? Leave Dandelion alone. I'm bored with her anyway now. Now to move on to you. You had to catch me first. Ugh, fine. Ugh. What the heck is she doing? You are quite the runner, aren't you? If I miss... You will still freeze out here, in the burning ice. No, you will. Your heart is as cold as ice. And these be... And these be done by someone who truly loves you, Grandmother. My... My dad didn't love you. That's only why it didn't work. If he loved you... Then, you would both live happily. My other grandmother, your, your sister, she loved that human very much, and she would give up everything just to be with him. That's the true power of love. Oh dear, what have I done? I'm sorry, Ashley. Come give your grandmother a hug. It's too late for forgiveness now. Whoa! 
Oh, did I just fly? Uh, why isn't she coming back to the surface? Oh no. I could do all of that, but, but why? After I've been cruel to your family, after all of that, you still would save me? Of course, everyone deserves a second chance. I was wrong about all of you humans. You may stay in Tanglewood, but on one condition. I will wipe your memories clean. What? But, but you can't. It is the only way to prevent you from telling others about us. I'm a fairy too. Shouldn't I keep my memories? I'm, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what to say. This has been the greatest day of my life and now you just want to erase it. Come, we will discuss it outside of my castle. Why is she taking so long? I hope she's okay. Ashley, I need to settle the score. Don't worry, guys. She's nice now. What? what? It's hard to believe, but yeah, she's nice now. I... I just wanted to come down to say I... I am sorry. I'm sorry for the years of pain you suffered. I promise that I will be the rightful queen that the kingdom needs. I blurred the error of my ways, and I know there isn't enough apologies to accept that. Well, that's okay. All I want is for my loyal subjects to know that I apologize. And this is the new me. Hmm. Now, humans, you must say your farewells. <gasps> For you all to be able to stay in Tanglewood safely, we must wipe your memories. Once this is through, you'll wake up in your home. This is the best way to contain the secret of Tanglewood from other humans. You may forget us, but deep down in your hearts, We'll still be there. I'll... I'll miss you, little buddy. I will miss you. Rosemary, I'm... Uh, <laughs> this has been fun. Yeah, it has. I'll... I'll still come visit you, even... Even if you're a human. I'll still break the rules and come visit you anytime. Oh, well, you don't have to do that. I will. And don't take 12 years to come back to us next time. <laughs> I am truly sorry for what I did. How can I make it up to you? But you already did by making my kids safe, happy, a 
on the greatest adventure of their life. Now, is everyone ready to go? <sighs> yeah, yes. Goodbye. I like my coloring. Hey Tommy, what are you coloring? I don't know. Those figures seem familiar. Oh, good morning, Ashley. How did you sleep? Uh, I don't know. I remember having this strange dream and then I guess it was good. Okay. Well, well come on kids. We need to finish unpacking the stuff. But first, you have to get your hair cut. Uh. I knew that seemed familiar. And now, this garden is... Hey, who drew that? Don't tell me you forgot about us that easily. Again, Ashley. R Rosemary. 